music is my passion, what I like to live for, what I wake up to in the morning. It's kind of the thing that makes me happy, like just doing it. It makes me feel more relieved and relaxed and having a bond with it kind of helps me share who I am and express who I want to be. The Monterey Jazz Festival was established in 1958 as a nonprofit organization specifically because it had a mission to provide jazz education programs. Well, this is the precious gem of the um, MJF education program. It goes back to about 1984, where uh, Monterey Jazz Festival sends out professional jazz artists to schools to provide mentoring, you know, added resources, and hopefully a lot of inspiration to the students. The idea of this was not to provide sort of the traditional academic approach to jazz. It was really about providing inspiration by bringing those amazing jazz musicians who come here for the festival to the students in their classroom environment. Derek Hodge and I are this year's artists in residence for the Monterey Jazz Festival. You know, being an artist in residence with Allison Miller is absolutely incredible. I mean, because it also goes beyond the surface of bass and drums. You know, we also have that same outlook, you know, about art being life. Woo! I say one of the cool things about what we just did is it's really inspiring to listen and learn from musicians that I listen to and they're like right in front of me and it's crazy. He has helped me to now where I feel more comfortable and I feel like I can do it and make the band sound even more um, amazing than it already is. Four clinicians get together with the Director of Education for Monterey and we visit a roughly 20 schools in one week, once a month, through the core of the year. To me, the best way of passing it on is just kids seeing it and hearing it and playing with you. Like, how cool is it getting to play with a professional musician? And so they develop relationships with the kids. They get to see them every month and see how those students have really mastered that skill by the time they're back. One of the goals for, as educators, is to build the whole person and not just one aspect of our education. Everybody has something to offer and something to teach and something to learn. Derek and I are here to pass along what we have learned over the years and, and what we've gained from our experience. It's our responsibility as musicians and creative people to actually give it to the world. Having people come in and work with you um, without you having to worry about paying is huge. It's so huge and I, I think what Monterey Jazz Festival is doing is amazing. We're seeing all sorts of students, you know, from all sorts of backgrounds, but they're all there because they love music and nothing holds them back from that love of music. And, you know, it's, it's one thing about music and the arts, it builds the sense of community, it builds the sense of working together to, for a common goal. Jazz education is also the only way that this music continues because this music has always been a music of mentorship. I'm standing before you today because also people that chose to believe in me to take that risk. This could be something in my future career, like this could be something I enjoy to be doing. The people that support the arts around the community are quintessential for the survival of the arts. It is tremendous what it can do for the students. And with that commitment, jazz is going to stay alive. And that's the best thing. It's an American art and we can't do enough to keep that art going.
To make it free and accessible to all of the schools that we work with, um, we rely on the support and the generosity of our community and of foundations and individuals um, who want to make sure that students have the best quality education. If you care about the lives of young people and making a true difference in a way that will last a lifetime for these young people, you really can't do better than to contribute to a program like this that is hitting a wide range of students and truly is changing their lives. To all the donors, thank you for contributing to the Jazz Festival.